now into the Dome at Home segment. We've got Trey Hendrickson, top 10 in the NFL in sacks, leads the Saints in sacks four and a half. But let's forget all that because we don't get an opportunity to sit with Trey regularly. So tell us, who is Trey Hendrickson? How would you describe you? Uh, well, first and foremost, I'm a God-fearing man. I'm uh, blessed to be a part of the Saints organization. And, uh, you know, high effort, high motor, and I've got a little bit of uh, spice too there where I'm, uh, I consider myself a, um, just a, a team guy. And uh, I'm really, really fortunate to be a part of this locker room. You know, we've seen some of that spice now. We've seen some of that feistiness. But <laughs> <laughs> now this season, are you doing anything different? I mean, you've had four and a half sacks before, but that was over 13 games last season. Here in the first five, that's a high output. Are you doing anything different from years past? Uh, not really. It's uh, the only thing uh, that I, that happened differently was I got married this summer to the love of my life, Elisa. She was fantastic. And through that, we've actually grown closer to, like I said, uh, closer to Jesus. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that are just moving in the right direction on top of everybody, everybody wants to work hard. Everybody wants to get faster. Everybody wants to get stronger. So, you know, I just think everything's working on and off the field. And I think that's something unique about this season. You know, on the field, you guys seem to have a really good rotation on the defensive line. Uh, yourself, Cam Jordan, uh, now Marcus Davenport is back. So that gives you defensive ends. You guys seem to be covered at defensive tackle with Sheldon and David Onyemata and Malcolm Brown. How do you feel like that combination is working uh, for the game? Uh, well, I mean, it's just another tool in the toolbox. You know, I feel like, you know, we just keep getting after it and competing uh, on and off the field. Like I said, like it, there's just a lot of guys that we care about each other and, you know, working next to somebody you care about that you don't want to let that person down kind of brings the level of, I don't know, competitiveness and meaning to what we're doing. It's not just striking a block, it's striking a block for the defense, you know, so it makes it special. You know, you knew you were capable of this. A lot of people probably didn't. Does that spur you or do you just say, hey, I know what I can do, I'm satisfied with what I do, or do you listen to any outside and say, okay, I do want to prove some people wrong? Uh, I've been self-motivated since day one. You know, I've, I've uh, had a couple setbacks with injuries, you know, and that teaches you a lot about yourself that you can't take this game for granted. You know, it's a, you gotta keep pushing every day and, and uh, embrace every moment and keep moving forward. You know, you guys are playing a tough opponent, Carolina Panthers, a quarterback that you know a little bit about, Teddy Bridgewater. Now, I know you like Teddy, everybody does. How satisfying would it be to finally be able to sack him because you couldn't hit him in practice? <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's just he, he, he comes with the position, you know, being quarterback, you know, you got to get sacked and whoever gets to him on Sunday is going to, you know, he's going to feel that. All right. So what are you looking out, looking for out of this Carolina offense in this game? Uh, well, for us, like uh, we do the same things. We're going to strike blocks and get after the quarterback. And that's what Ryan Nielsen has been coaching us to do. All right. That's Trey Henderson still getting after it. Four and a half sacks leads the Saints and he leads the Saints defensive line into today's game against Carolina.